All right, I'm here looking at the new G.I. Joe Retro Stalker. Just got this guy a few days ago. I figured I'd open him up, check him out, compare to some other figures, and just see how he looks. So the card looks really cool, like all the retro guys. Got the cool old card art there. And the figure looks pretty neat. Looks good. The uh, the first thing is the paint looks a lot more like the um, the old school guy, kind of like the um, like the concept art or the uh, the painting. Like here's a uh, more modern version of Stalker, and it's like kind of more yellow, like a uh, just a lighter kind of take on it. Like the camo's not not the same. Where these guys seem to be more uh, more kind of lined up. But um, yeah, let's get them out of the package. See how he looks. Hold on there, buddy. All right, let's look at the back. Back looks like the other retro cards. Tons of warnings in all kinds of different languages. Different guys. And then the, um, the kind of flimsy, flimsy paper. Everybody's like not digging on. Anyone read that stuff? I don't know. No, he looks a little sad. Doesn't he? Look a little very serious kind of face. Looking off to the left. He feels pretty good though. I've heard that this guy is similar to the um, the Fang pilot. So the thing is that they're being made in like a different factory, supposedly. They used to be made in China, but now they're being made in Vietnam. At least that's what I've been reading online. I don't know if it says that anywhere. Does it say? Oh yeah. Yeah, made in Vietnam. So I guess there's something to that. And then I was gonna look at the um, the new Hiss. Let's see, here's the other Hiss. This one says Made in China. Let's see what the Hiss 3 says. Ah, Made in Vietnam. So the Hiss 3 is Made in Vietnam. The Hiss 2 is Made in China. And Stalker is Made in Vietnam. So, it looks pretty cool. Um, I like him better than the Fang pilot. It looks like he's all plastic, no screw there, like the, um, no even like the other modern figures. Like have the, the screw and then the metal kind of, I don't know what they call it, like a dumbbell kind of thing that goes between the legs. And then this guy's all plastic. I guess it's just cheaper to keep it all plastic, I would think, than have to you know, source screws and source the metal from a different factory and stuff. Maybe they can do it all in one spot. His web gear, it looks like almost the same thing as the the other guy. Oh no. Well, he's got the grenade in the same spot. Some of the pouches. But then the side is definitely different. This guy's got space for a knife. And... You know, just different ammo pouches, different stuff going on. And then, there's old school, old school stalker. So, I guess that's like his trademark grenade there. And then, interesting, so, so he's got kind of the H thing going on where the old school has the, the Y shape. And I just know that because I think it was with the, um, Super 7 guys, you, with the Cobra Troopers, you could order the H or the Y um, web gear. So, it's just something to notice. But his, um, his coloring seems, you know, it's different. It, it looks like he's almost in between these two guys. You know, the original. Like here, it's much more greeny green, and this is much more yellow. And this is sort of somewhere in between a yellowish kind of green. It's 
interesting the um the differences over the years like this guy's head is so much smaller this one's a little larger and the original guy's head is so big but this guy's got the um it's like kind of Popeye cannonball shoulders and just like these long skinny legs where the um the newer guy is a bit thicker and just bigger look at how much bigger he is they just keep getting got this fun tack on their feet to hold them on the bases i do that because i'm scared of putting them on the peg and i've had the um the old ones that'll split the foot but like look at how much bigger that guy is like he's just like massive compared to the, well, compared to the original he's a lot bigger and then I don't know if this guy's like 25th or 30th, but um, he's even much bigger than him. Just, just a lot broader and bigger, taller. His legs are longer. Yeah, I don't know if this dude would fit into a. Uh, oh man, the joints. I'm kind of worried about doing moving the joints until I like heat them up, but. Just like this guy and some of the old school vehicles might be a little seem a little big. I don't know if he'd fit in it. If he'd fit into the vamp, I'm kind of doubtful. He seems pretty big, but I'll I'll give that a try. I'll like heat up his um his joints, maybe cut back. But um, but back to the figure, it's pretty cool how they get the um that sort of pattern in the um you know, like the fabric. Like, it feels like some kind of, like, woolen sort of vest kind of thing that, like, special forces would wear. You know, the detail in his collar. Um, the hands rotate, which is cool about the modern figures. Although my son's got, he's got a uh, roadblock with missing hands now. His Cobra Commander is, um, is missing his helmet. Although one of the guys in his tank, Smartek, uh, 1971, he sent me a new uh, Cobra helmet. Awesome dude to do that. So, um, but watch those helmets. The kids like just rip them off in the hands and stuff. But um, yeah, super flexible, poseable, like you'd expect from a modern figure. It looks pretty good. I, I think the um, the quality of the plastic looks way better than it did on the Fang Pilot. I felt that was like shinier and sort of softer. This does feel softer than the, uh, the other modern figures, but not by a lot. This is um, this is pretty cool. This gives me um, gives me hope for the the Cobra Troopers I've ordered and stuff because I got a bunch of those. So I could not do army building, but um, just have a, a decent number to like you know represent like a platoon or you know a squad of of Cobra soldiers. But I'm hopeful they'll they'll be pretty cool. And yeah, this guy looks good. I like his coloring a lot better than this. You know, when you see them side by side, you really realize the difference. Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna pause it there. I'm gonna go heat up his joints. I'll just run some uh, hot water over him and uh, and see what that does and see if it loosens him up. I'll be right back. Okay, let's see. So I ran this guy under some water, heated him up, and now he's uh, he's moving good. It's kind of crazy, you have to like heat up your action figures under hot water to loosen up the joints, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, so he's got these like double knees. I don't know, maybe I'm old school, but I don't understand why you need to bend back that far. I guess for some like kung fu moves and you know, super poses, but um, I don't know, I guess it's, it's cool. Um, that's what it looks like. It's kind of weird, but uh, but yeah, he seems like uh, fully posable. Um, his shoulder is, is a little iffy. I'm like, like a little like, eh. yeah, there it pops. So it's pretty good. And his um, actually, I like this a lot. He um, his arm goes more than 45. You know, I hate the. I shouldn't say I hate. I just really don't like the figures where. It'll only go that far. He can't really go more than 90 degrees. And that's that's really cool that he'll do that. So you can really get some good poses. But yeah, speaking of that, let's get some uh 
get out his weaponry, so. There's his gun, his main gun. And it looks like the classic, but black. He's got his base, Sergeant Stalker. And then this, like, was that a grease gun or something, like they call him? This World War II, like, old school gun. It's a little bent, but it seems good. That's pretty cool. I feel like um, the old, old, the big G.I. Joes used to come with this kind of gun. And then these guys, under plastic. Wow, it's like a pain to get to those, but let's get them out. So use my favorite tool, the X-Acto blade. Let's slice around that. Get this out. And so he's got a pistol. Looks like a old school 45. I don't think it's a Beretta or anything more modern like that. Is a Beretta even modern anymore, though? I don't know. And then he's got um, his knife. It's pretty cool. Let's see where that goes. I think it goes here in his web gear, which I think is pretty cool. Does that go in there? Yeah, it doesn't want to. I think it does, though. Let's see if I can get it up in there without bending it. I think so, there we go. And then does the, maybe the end of it goes in there. I didn't watch any other reviews, so I could go into this cold and see what it, what it felt like to just open the thing. Yeah, I guess that's where it's gotta go. I don't know, maybe it goes down like this. Or maybe I should reference the art. Yeah, so the knife is facing up. So this is kind of cool. It's more um, more um, true to the concept art. Let's see if there's like a hole in there. Is there? I can't see. No, it's solid. That would be kind of cool if it sort of went up in there too. But I guess you can just do that. And that looks pretty cool. I don't know if it'll bend it if you leave it in there, but I don't know, that's kind of neat. And then he's got his, his guns. I do love how the modern figures grip their guns so much easier than like the older guys. I mean, the older guys, when you were a kid, you didn't care, but but now I'm like so, um, so delicate with them. I'm a little scared to put guns into their hands. Or weapons, blasters. Come on. Yeah, that's cool. And he can, um, he can really take a good pose. Yeah, this has me pretty psyched. This figure's pretty cool. Yeah. He looks pretty old. I mean, he looks like a more mature, um, character. And his face has, like, a little flashing around the edge here, maybe. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little bit of shave. Probably not now, but you can see there's like a, a bit of flash in there. Just scrape that off of my nail or I'll get it later with the exacto knife. But it looks kind of weird. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Good looking figure. With all his gear and his weaponry. Where does this go? Do we have a holster? Yes, we do. Look at that. I thought that was just like an ammo pouch, but um, no, it looks like he can get his, his um, sidearm in there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that really fits well. I like that too, because it's not like sticking out like, like as much as like that guy's just, it's like this giant thing. This, I don't know, it's pretty big, but it just feels more like it fits what its purpose is. Like, it just works better. I don't know. I like these guys, they're kind of like, feel like more cartoony. I think this is the dude from the, like based on the cartoon, like the 
cartoon release figures. This guy feels like the comic. Like he was in Vietnam with a uh, storm, storm shadow and snake eyes on patrol. I wish he came with that big, um, that big rifle he had in the comic. That was awesome. I mean, with that giant, I forget what it was called, starlight scope. I think it was like cutting edge back in Vietnam. Infrared. All right, so let's see if you'll fit in here. There's no way you're gonna fit. But let's just try. Oh, maybe you will. There's no way. Hear the creaking plastic. Oh, all right, let's try bending your knees. Because you've got those double knees. Maybe now you can. Oh, yes. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that looks good. How about that? He fits. too bad. He might have trouble driving. Yeah. I guess he doesn't need a, um, a visor. <laughs> yeah, he's a little big. A little big. I'm more vehicle guy, so I wish these guys would fit the vehicles better. I'm trying to get snow job into a, um, into the snowmobile, the polar... Battle Bear, I think that's what it's called. The, uh, I had to cut a bunch of pieces out to get the modern figure in there and he still didn't fit. But yeah, he kind of gets in there, but you know, you look at the old school guys and they just like, it's like you're a kid just playing, you just slip them in. They're like, oh yeah. Uh, they, could, they could ride together. It's amazing how much more realistic the, uh, the modern figure looks like it's just crazy. All right, I guess you don't fit that perfectly. Can I pull you out this way? I never did that. Yeah, you can pull him out the top. Yeah, but what? What a difference, man. I mean, that's that's crazy. These guys are so fun, though. Don't have to um, have to heat up their joints and stuff. But yeah, this guy looks good. He's pretty cool. I'll definitely be getting getting more of these, I'm, I'm sure. I wasn't sure how many of the retros I was going to get, how deep I'd go, how many waves. But um, if they keep looking like this, that'd be pretty cool. Well, that was fun, taking a look at the new Stalker figure. He seems pretty cool. Kind of excited to see what more is going to come down out of this... Uh, out of this line of figures. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one. Thanks again and yo Joe.